we're supposed to be unboxing this guy right here the let's see can we get that to focus this guy right here the exclavane something moving up to smart bracelet thingamabob but right after I bought it when we check out the product they changed it to this sucker and it's only a dollar and it only reads out the time so hopefully we did not end up with the watch but we ended up with the tracker bracelet so here we go Okay, just a small little Y, x -Van. that is, or x -Van. I don't know, whatever it is, that is the name of what we ordered, so it should be the tracking moving bracelet, and it's blue, that's the color we ordered it in, looking promising so far, kind of small, see how far we can get this band out, just has two little clip buttons, a little XL van right there, logo, and we can clip it into these last two, probably should have clipped it on on the wrist, let's see, can we do that, yeah this will fit, it just pops right on, ta-da, looks kind of odd blue on me, but hey, whatever, let's see, can we turn this sucker on? Welcome, and it vibrated nonetheless. And we have two bars of battery. And it just disappeared on us. Oh, wait, there we go. We have footsteps gone, distance gone, and kilometers. Calories burned right there. Here, let me get a little bit closer look at these. Calories burned. The time, battery, and date. Footsteps gone. Kilometers, I think we could change that to miles. And then the calories again. So there's all that. Also in here we have our little charger. So let's show the charger here. It's got three little gold prongs right there. And that core just wrapped around in here I'm assuming let's check the underside of the bracelet yep there's the three prongs so to charge it we would just clip the bracelet right onto right here Ta -da. and then it would just hold your bracelet and charge it like that looks fairly nice overall the feel of this uh, rubber is a very soft rubber, very nice feeling. The rest of it meshes together fairly well. The edges don't have very many hang-ups or problems. And the front screen even has a little cover on it, but I'm not going to take that fully off. Yeah. Let's see, did we come with any instructions? Oh. We have instructions in here. In Chinese, model UP2 up to. And this side is completely in Chinese. I don't know. Here we go. Okay. Install the band app on the phone. Download Day Band. Day Day Band. Let's go look for Day Day Band on here then. So, record sports data, sleep data, fill in personal information, and cannot connect to the band. Is a phone nearby? More questions, blah blah blah. Ta da! Okay, so I'm gonna fill out all the information on here really fast. Ta da! So we got all the information on there. Let's experience it, I guess.
It actually already found the band, I think. It's already connected. Damn, there we go. 7.18 a.m. It's already changed this over to the right time. And 12.28. It's already got the right date on here. That is kind of nice. I really don't know how it counts a sleep or awake function. I don't know. Okay, well I'll test this thing out for a couple days and we will come back here to show the results. Okay. Hey, see that? Okay, so I've had the band now for like three, four weeks, maybe a month. I don't know, I've been wearing it off and on quite a while now. And I think it's a fairly nice band for like $10. My only problem with it really is after wearing it for a little while, my work is very rough. It broke off both of those little clips right there. And then on this side, it broke off that little clip right there. So the only one holding is this one corner. Uh, charging is fairly fine. It does kind of offset a little bit if you set on anything wrong and you have to re-clip it back on. But for tracking, it does fairly well. Now, if you're just walking straight in a line and you walk 100 steps and they're just even, nice, good steps, it will track those hundred steps just fine. Today I'm at 8,958 or something like that. Yeah, 8,958. And I've got it here on the phone, 8,958. But with my weird sleep schedule, it doesn't think I slept at all today. Apparently I did not sleep, even though I slept like seven, eight, nine hours, something like that. I don't know. So it's not completely accurate on sleeping and it's fairly okay on walking and counting steps. Now here on the app, you can go to, let's see, let's go back. La -da 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 -da. One of my favorite settings about this little thing is push messages. And you can add more push messages. I currently have it set up for YouTube, PayPal, Yahoo, Robinhood, Snapchat, Messenger. And you can add whatever app you want that has notifications and it will vibrate and show you a notification right here. It won't like show you that Snapchat or something, but it'll come up with a little message thing, which I think I had one show just barely a second ago, which I can show. But that's one of my favorite things about this. You can have call reminders, SMS, with the calls, and I don't think the SMS, but with the calls, it'll show you their phone number and the name, maybe, sometimes. The shake to take selfie, I haven't used that. Uh, push messages, uh, my device, lost function. I've walked away from my phone and had my coworkers be like, oh yeah, your phone's going off. And I'm like, oh huh, yeah, probably just because of this. So, uh, posture reminder, haven't used it. Uh, on screen time, 10 seconds, so you can set how long it will stay on the screen, the time. So like 8.12 right now, and it'll stay up there for like 10 seconds after you hit the button. It's not bad. The alarm clock I have used, which will vibrate on your wrist and light up, which is kind of helpful. Gotta make sure I'm awake at those times. I've gotta go to work fairly late. Uh, find band, and it vibrates. So fairly nice function there. Now let's go through on the tracking. So we have day and occasionally it'll track like, oh, no, where'd it go? Right there, was it this day? 10 hours, 12 minutes. And it thinks I've got three hours of deep sleep, give or take, four hours of light. I was awake for eight count something and excellent quality. Nothing on that day. Excellent quality on that day. Four hours of deep sleep. One hour of light. Two count to something else. 
nothing on yesterday. Nothing on today. Now that is part of the problem. It won't always track if you don't have your app in this linked if for a certain amount of time or if you have a weird sleep schedule. It might not track you sleeping. Now while I am sleeping, it does tend to pop off and I'll just find it laying somewhere on the bed or on the ground or somewhere, I don't know, it <laughs> ends up in weird places sometimes. Uh, now we can go to the week and it'll tell you this week, what your sleep has been. Last week, I apparently only slept for a couple days. I didn't even wear it that week. I only got a couple hours that week. Hours in between here and there that week. 10 hours, 6 hours, 4 hours. A little bit more consistent this week, but it's like 3 hours on this end of the spectrum and 15 hours of sleep on that end. And a couple hours here and there, and I think that's, yeah, that's as long as I've had it, right there. So, like, 44 hour, or 23 hours of sleep that week, 15, or 51 that week, 29 that week, 5 hours that week, 0, 42, 8. Apparently, I don't sleep. And, okay, so, Sunday. That's, no, that's yesterday. I don't know, wherever, it's very inconsistent on the sleep. Now for the step tracking, it does a little bit better on this. It's got its little chart here, daily, and it actually usually puts the chart up every day of my walking. And I average 7,000... Nothing, 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 nothing. And there's a lot of nothing here. Let's go back to when I was actually walking with this a lot more. Here we go. 10,000. 700. 10,000. 500. 8,000. 6,000. 800. 9,000. So, I'm in between 6,000 and 10,000 quite often. We go to weekly, and we have, woo, let's see, are we on the farthest week we are? So, 8,000 right there, uh, 27,000, nothing, 1,000 or 700, 38,000, here we go, 48,000, 16,000. So, it's kind of fun to be able to track on this, but also, let's go to monthly here. Da-da-da, da-da. You can see all that monthly, 137,000. Okay, now, so I like this. I think it is a very cheap thing, so for $10, I like it more just as a watch. Because that's basically my main purpose for it. Because already here on my phone, one second. Okay, so like my phone thinks I've only done 2,800 today. Well, this thinks I've done 8,000. But I did 12,000 steps yesterday, while well, this thing thinks I did less than that, or... 11,000 that day, 11,000 that day. These little in-between days are like 100 and 1,000, 6,000, 11,000, 2,000, 13,000, 3,000. 400, 12,000, 1,700, 11,000, 700, 12,000, 3,000, 1,000, 11,000, 1,000, 15,000, 2,000, 8,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 5,000, 6,000, 4,000, 8,000, 2,000, 3,000, 9,000, 1,000, 8,000, 9,000. Okay, so let's actually look at a weekly trend.
daily average, 2,000, 5,000, blah, 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 blah. So this thing does fairly good at tracking and occasionally these will end within like this will be 7,000 and this will be 5,000 or this will be 10,000 this is 8,000 normally this guy counts more I've had days where this guy counts a lot more than the phone so I don't know it varies all the time occasionally I don't know it just it's not very consistent so I shuffle around a lot at work in just little tiny steps. I mean, like, I'll take a thousand tiny little steps just moving down one aisle while I'm facing an aisle. And this guy might count none of those. And this guy will count, okay, you're moving your arm while you're moving a product. And it'll think, okay, so there's 50 steps right there or something. So, for tracking, I wouldn't recommend this if you're going for really high accuracy. Then again, I don't know how accurate the phone is, but it normally counts more overall. So sometimes I'll be shuffling down the aisle, not moving my hand, but moving a cart. Uh, so just holding still on a cart with my hand like this. But my feet will be moving, so it'll count on here, but it won't count on here. It varies all the time. I'm rambling on, but for $10, not a bad little watch. I might recommend going something a little higher quality because the band has already broken on these parts. It hasn't made my wrist blue as far as I know. My wrist still looks fairly okay <laughs> for whatever scars it does have on it. And yeah, so... Oh, and I like... A problem I have at work all the time is I like that little clip-on piece but as I'm moving over product and around product, it'll catch, drop off, and I'll lose the bracelet. Bracelet's gone. So the bracelet pops off easy when you're sleeping or working or doing activities. It kind of breaks easy if you do anything high endurance. Its tracking is kind of off. Uh, so the best part is the watch you're paying ten dollars to have a digital watch is basically it in a comfy i don't know very soft rubbery stuff beyond that it's not the best tracker and it tries to tell you distances also so today i've gone four miles which looks good to me i like it might make you feel better about yourself but i've only burned 360 calories going four miles <laughs> so I don't know I'm rambling I'm going way too long and I probably missed half the things I wanted to say but yeah that's my little day day band smartwatch uh, tracker thing broken very cheap and cheesy it's vibrating See, there's the message thing. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random stuff like this. And as always, I don't know. See ya!